Welcome, this lesson is about sus guitar chords and sus chords, that is suspended chords in general. What are they, where do they come from, and how can we use them on the guitar? This is episode 13 of a series called How to Learn Guitar Chords, and it is a deep dive into understanding the music theory of harmony on the guitar. In this lesson, we'll cover the theory structure of sus chords, the history of sus chords, and how they originally functioned in music, and then how you can start practicing them and benefiting from these majestic sounding chords in your own playing. Today, there are two types of sus chords that are commonly used in popular music, sus4 and sus2. Triad chords have three notes, a root, a third, and a fifth. The third of a triad determines whether or not the chord is major or minor. These two types of sus chords remove the third, making the chord sound ambiguous and spacious. A sus4 chord replaces the third with the note that is above it in the scale, so replacing the third with the four. The most popular way to do this on the guitar is with the open D chord shape. Here's a normal D. The top note is the third. If we replace that with the note above, there's D sus4. Sus4 is the most common type of sus chord. If you see a chord listed as sus, it means sus4. Sus2 means that we replace the third with the two, the note that is below the third. Here's that D again. The third is the top note. Replace it with the two below, and that is D sus2. Today, sus chords can be thought of and used as just static chord types. You can just hang out and jam on a sus chord. But originally, in the Renaissance era, composers used suspended chords as this momentary overlapping event between chords. At that time, the music of the day was choral vocal music, and the idea of a chord was actually a byproduct of multiple voices singing different melodies together at the same time. Suspending a chord meant that you would simply delay the movement of one of the voices when the harmony changed. So when all the other voices would move to create a new chord, one of the voices would stay suspended, holding the note that they were singing from the previous chord, creating this ethereal effect before resolving to the note that actually belongs to the new chord. So to use D sus4 in this traditional way, we could play a C chord first with a G note on top, leave the G note there as a leftover note when we switch to the D, and then resolve to a normal D chord by moving that note down afterwards. Here's a C chord. We're gonna play a G on the top with the pinky. That is a chord tone of C. We're gonna let that ring as you transition over, play the other notes of D and then resolve that suspended note down to complete the D chord. Ideally, for that authentic traditional suspension sound, you don't want to replay the suspended note when the chord changes. You just want to hold it and let it ring over uh, like a singer holding a note. That's pretty hard to, to hear and do on the guitar because our notes die out so quickly, but it's still really fun to try. Ooh, you can hear that cathedral renaissance vibe, right? Suspensions are still used this way today, and you hear them all the time, especially in film scores and orchestral music. The big difference is that we now also have this concept of the static sus chord that isn't defined by where it's coming from or where it's going to. Sus4 is short for suspended 4, which is short for suspended 4-3, because the suspension resolves from four to three, like we just showed. That is the most common type of suspension, but there are several others, like a nine eight suspension, or a six five suspension, or a two three suspension. So I'll give you two ways to practice sus chords on the guitar. One is with this modern static approach, and the other is with the traditional classical approach. For the static sus chord practice, download my free chord chart by going to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color, or use the link in the description. In that chart, I have all the open string chords shapes written out in five different keys and then a bunch of variations of those chords. The first two variation types are sus2 and sus4. So it shows you through each key what are all the chords in that key that you can turn into sus2 or sus4. So for the key of C all the possible sus2 chords are these. <laughs> see all the possible sus4 chords as well. And in the chart, there's four more keys where all of the options are listed out just like that, plus a bunch of other cool chord types as well. To practice the traditional classical approach for sus chords on the guitar, we are going to use a string of 4-3 suspensions. So the resolution note from the previous suspension is going to become the suspended note of the next chord through a progression. 
this compositional technique is often used in film scoring because it has such an emotional, constantly moving sound. For this, I just created a little etude and I'll just play through it and show you the notation on the screen so you can use that to learn it and practice it if you like. It does require some finger style technique, so if you're not comfortable with that, no problem. Just practice these static chord shapes and I will be covering finger style playing in the future on this channel. Here's the exercise. All right, we covered the theory of static sus chords, the history and function of sus chords, and two different ways to start practicing them. We're about halfway through or so with this series, so stay tuned. I'm here every week with a new lesson. Next video, we are talking about sixth chords. Can't wait to see you there. Take care, and thanks for watching.